All right, in this video, we're gonna go over how to create a Linktree account. So you'll go ahead and open that up and then hit get started for free. Now, the reason why we're going to create a Linktree account is so that you can use one web address to be able to open up uh, a Linktree, essentially, and it will give the viewer options to go to all of your platforms. Um, so you can have your Century 21 website, your Facebook, your uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever you want to use if you have your own personal website. So once we create our account here, I'll show you how we're going to connect all of those links into one. Okay, so when you get started, they want you to give them a little bit of information about yourself, what you're into. So we're business professionals, and then I would say I do a little bit of education on my sites, and I guess I could be considered an influencer in some aspects, but I'm just going to click those just because it's not super serious. Business professional is enough. <sighs> I got to do these little non-robot <laughs> test things here. Okay, why is it not opening? Oh, you want to make sure you enter your name as well. And this is going to take us to the options for a paid account or free. Just go continue with free. Uh, I'm not really sure what the benefits are of a paid account, and I haven't used this enough to really figure out if I'm going to need that or not. So, okay, so then you have to go verify your email. And then that'll pull you right back to the Linktree website. And then it's gonna prompt you to add a new link. So first, go ahead and hit add new link. You can give this link a title. So I'm gonna start with, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with Facebook. And then all you have to do for your Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash your handle uh, or username, which if you go to the Facebook website, um, you can just copy and paste whatever's in the URL bar at the top. Uh, I do know mine that's just, mine is Wonder Woman Realty. So I'll just go ahead and put that in. And then Instagram, it's going to be the same thing. Whatever your handle is, it's Instagram.com forward slash the handle. Or again, you can go to the website and copy and paste the link at the top, the URL. So mine's California Wonder Woman. And then you can go ahead and enter in your Century 21 website. Um, we're going to have at least two of these, so I'm going to start with the Century 21 company generated one. And all right, so that's going to be the top one here. Again, this is the Century 20 wide, 20, <laughs> excuse me, Century 21 company wide, not North Bay Alliance, but Century 21. Copy and paste that URL. And then I'm going to add in another link. And this one I'm going to do the North Bay Alliance Century 21 uh, website. So this is more of the one that um, we suggest you guys update as regularly as you can through C21 online. going to title it so I know the difference between the two. And when you search your name, search your 21 in your name, you should be able to find it. Oops. There we go. And that's the one that's your first name, or your last name, .c21.com. And then again, we just copy and paste that link. Plug that on in. And then I guess I can do, what else do I want to include? Oh yeah, I can do my LinkedIn account. I'm not a Twitter person, so I don't have a Twitter to add in here. I haven't really created my own website, so I don't have that there. 
either. All right, so it looks like I have all of the websites that I want to include here. So then you're gonna go up to the top and hit share and you can go copy my link tree URL. So it's just gonna automatically copy it. And then you can go to um, whatever site you want to enter it into and just paste that in. I'm gonna email this to myself so that I have it uh, separately. So I can go back and recopy and paste it if I need to. There we go. And then um, you can download the QR code. And this you can actually use on uh, any marketing material that you want. And if someone scans it with their camera or the QR code uh, program, it's gonna pull up your link tree and it's gonna give them the option to go to any of those sites. So let me see here, did that save properly? Nope, not this time. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a screenshot. So I'm gonna open that back up. And again, it's just that square image in the middle there that we're really wanting. So took a screenshot, let's crop this down. Save to photos. I'm going to go back to my email and I'm just going to open the photos and put that in there. And I'm going to email this to myself. So now I have all this.